In this video, I'm going to talk about subagents, a very cool new Claude Code feature allowing you to delegate tasks to other agents that have their own system prompts, their own tools, and their own context windows. Until now, what people have been doing with Claude Code is either spinning up multiple instances of Claude Code or kind of hacking it in a way to make its own subagents. But essentially, what was happening is it was sharing the same context window within the same chat. And if you're building or doing anything with AI, you know how important it is to mitigate the usage of the context window and also how easy it is to fill it up. So subagents allows you to create these subagents that pretty much have their own persona, their own goal, their own tools, their own context, so that you or Cloud Code could delegate tasks to that agent so it could go do it itself in its own environment and then report back. And this way, your main context window doesn't get affected. So on the whole, this is an amazing feature. We kind of solve the context window issue, but in the process, we exacerbate our usage limit issues because now that the main context window is essentially safe, we're using multiple agents simultaneously, and now we'll hit your rate limits a lot faster. That's the downside with subagents. So I'm just gonna show you how you create subagents and then how you could daisy chain them together. That's what I've been doing with the slash commands. Okay, so right now I'm building my iOS app for retroactively adding activities to my Apple Watch. I did a video on Kira the other day, and so I'm using it here. And if we open up my .cloud directory, we have agents, command hooks, and settings.json. Open up agents, I'm just gonna show you the agents I have. I have an iOS Swift tester. I have a UI UX designer. I have a Swift code base analyzer, an iOS debugger, a product manager, and a web research specialist. And the cool thing about subagents is Claude Code will create it for you, which is actually recommended. You could then go in and tweak it yourself after the fact. So far, the ones it generated have worked really well for me. And because it's so new, I'm just going with that. So I'm just gonna show you. If you start up Claude, Let's make this bigger. And you type in slash agents. It lists all the agents I have in this project. You can make them either on a user level or on a project level. I suggest putting them on a project level. So we're gonna click create new agent, project or personal. So we're just gonna do project. And then it just walks you through it. So we're just gonna press enter and generate with Claude. And what it says here, describe what this agent should do and when it should be used and be as comprehensive as possible for best results. One thing I don't have here is a refactoring agent. So we're just gonna put this in here. Expert software engineer that specializes in Swift and iOS development that focuses on refactoring and should be used whenever it's called by the user. Okay, so we're just gonna press enter and this is just creating the agent. This is a very important part. You get to select the tools that it has access to. You can give it access to all your tools you could give it only read-only tools, only editing tools, execution tools, and MCP and other tools. And if you're not sure what all those tools are, you can press show individual tools, and it'll show you all the tools, including your MCP servers. In my case, I'm gonna give this agent access to all tools. So I'm gonna press enter and press continue. Then it shows us the markdown file it's gonna create. It's gonna call it the Swift iOS Refactoring Expert. It has a description, it has a system prompt. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna press enter. And now we have a new sub agent in our agents directory. One thing I've realized with using Claude Code and subagents is that it could technically call an agent when it thinks it needs to, but I find just like with tools, sometimes it doesn't call the right agent or doesn't call it at all. So I think it's much more important to explicitly tell it to use agents. And I mentioned this before, but you can actually prompt it to use multiple agents in sequence. And so what I decided to do was kind of replicate what Kiro is doing with its spec-driven development where it does requirements, then the design, then implementation plan. I wanted to recreate that with Claude Code with subagents. And so what I did was I created a specific slash command, plan iOS feature. Let's take a look at it. So here's the slash command I created. Run a multi-agent planning process for an iOS feature or issue. This will use three subagents and generate a full development plan. Use the agents in the following order. The Swift code base analyzer, which if we click into the list, it has quite the instruction. So it's able to identify all the Swift files, components, and view controllers, pretty much look at all the codes, see how it's all connected, and then create a code report file. Then the next agent is a UI UX designer. Look at the code report, map the UX flow of the related screens or components, highlight any design gaps or UX concerns, save your results in the UI flow report.md. And then lastly, we have the project manager, the product manager, I don't really care, same thing. Read the code report and read the UI report. Based on those two files, create a step-by-step -step implementation plan, save them in implementation plan.md. And then the main cloud code instance where you invoke the only subagents will then read the implementation plan and present the plan. And then you can tell it good, bad, and then go for it. Here's the iOS app I was building. And you can just add workouts after the fact if you forgot to add it. What's missing here is the historical feature. It's a feature I wanted to add later. So we're going to tell cloud code with subagents to plan out the feature, similar to the way that Kira would do it. And the point here is just to show you how you could create subagents and chain them together. So let's go slash 
plan OS feature. It pretty much says I need to understand what feature you want me to implement. We want to start implementing the historical workout feature, which lists all the workouts added by the app in chronological order. So we're just going to press enter. And as you see, it calls the first agent, the Swift code base analyzer. It'll look at all the code, just like I planned it out here in the slash command. But while it's working, here's the thing. As great as this feature is and all the other great features of Claude code, here are my caveats. We know over the last few months, Anthropic will sometimes give a great model with great usage limits. And then all of a sudden the model will degrade and it will run out of usage limits on the pro plan, on the $100 max plan, and on the $200 max plan. It's inconsistent. And even last week it was discovered that Anthropic was shrinking usage limits without telling users. And now there's speculation based on a rumor that's been reported in a few different places that Anthropic is going to either add weekly rate limits or another subscription tier above the $200 plan, a $500 plan. Maybe then it will go to a $1,000 plan. And they got us hook, line, and sinker. They released a great model. It's great at coding, a great tool with awesome features. And then they just shrink the amount you can use it until you buy the next tier. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to happen, but there's a lot of speculation on it. While I'm editing this video, I get this email from Anthropic. It's not a rumor. It's not a speculation. It's true. They're announcing now that they are adding weekly rate limits. It is unbelievable. It is so disappointing. Next month, we're introducing the new weekly rate limits for cloud subscribers, affecting less than 5% of users based on current usage patterns. Yeah. For sure. Cloud code has seen unprecedented growth. At the same time, we've identified policy violations like account sharing and reselling access and advanced usage patterns like running 24 seven in the background that are impacting system capacity for all. Our new rate limits address these issues and provide more equitable experience for all users. So just punish or kick off those users that are screwing it up for everybody else. We've all seen videos of people running multiple instances of cloud code simultaneously. I even talked about it in the video. And if they're the ones screwing it up for everyone, then deal with them, but don't limit us with weekly now. Starting August 28th, we're introducing new weekly usage limits alongside our existing five hour limits. Current usage limits reset every five hour, no change. Weekly limit that resets every seven days. Most users won't notice any difference. BS, it affects me daily. I run out of usage every day. That is nonsense. That is some gaslighting right there. I don't know, I'm pissed off. I love Claude. It is one of my favorite models. Even when it's degraded, I just can't imagine working on something already hitting rate limits on a daily basis and then finding out, you know what? You can't work for another week. Maybe it won't be like that, but it's already pretty bad as it is. Anyways, back to the video. So I'm just going to look at what it did here. I'm going to let you use the tool. Now it's using the second agent in our slash command, the UI by UX designer. Now it wants to create the UI flow report. We're going to say yes. Now it's calling our final agent, the tech project manager. Now that it went through our three sub agents from this slash command, it went back to main cloud code and gave us its implementation plan in planning mode. So I'm actually not going to go forward with this right now because I need to conserve my cloud usage. And that's the thing, as amazing as sub agents are, we now have a new thing we have to think about. We have to make sure we don't hit that usage limit so much faster because we've spun up five or six or seven other sub agents. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful or insightful. If you have any feedback or questions, drop it in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.